Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let's talk about the polar nature and bond length. So if you see, this is my fluorine, this is chlorine, this is bromine and this is iodine. Okay, this is my fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. And if you see, the size increase as we go down the group. So this is my fluorine has this much size, then my chlorine will have this much size and bromine will have bigger size and then iodine will have all the more bigger size, right? This is how it is as you go down the group. And if you talk about the electronegativity, let me write this. Uh, let me write here. En. For fluorine, electronegativity is 4. For chlorine, it is 3. Bromine, it is 2.8 and iodine is 2.5. And for carbon, we know that it is 2.5. So if you see, as we go down the groups, so if you see this carbon and halogen, this halogen has tendency to attract electron towards itself, right? It is more electronegative. So this halogen will get partial negative charge, correct? Halogen will get partial negative charge and carbon, since halogen has got partial negative charge, carbon will get slightly positive charge and that's why my CX bond is slightly polar in nature. Why? Because the halogen has tendency to attract electron. It has higher electronegativity as I have seen. Fluorine has the electronegativity of 4. Right? So, it is CF bond. So, fluorine will try to hog electron and so carbon will get slightly positive charge. And thus we, thus we say that halo alkanes have are polar in nature. Correct? So, if you talk about the bond length, if you go down the bond length increase. Why? Because the size is increasing. Chlorine has a smaller size, chlorine bigger, bromine all the more big, iodine all the more big. Since the size is increasing, this length is increasing. This is the bond length. Correct? Hope you understood why the bond length is increasing. Right? So CH3F has bond length of, CF has the bond length of 139 picometer and CI has the bond length of 240 picometer. Since bond length is more, it is easy to break is so the energy required is less right so it is less stable you can say this is more stable right this thing we have done learned in the class 11 chapter where we see that the bond length is more easy to break less stable bond length is less difficult to break more stable correct and if you see if you talk about the polar nature now CF3 is maximum polar. Why? Because the delta of electronegativity between carbon and fluorine is what? 2.5 minus 4. Take the absolute value, it is nothing but 1.5. So this is very polar. If you talk about CI bond, it is 2.5 minus 2.5. It's almost zero. Right? If you talk about CBR bond, then it is 2.5 minus 2.8 is 0.3. We talk about CCL, it is 3 minus 2.5, that is 0.5. So this is maximum polar, this is max polar, or I'll write here, max polar. And this is minimum polar, correct? This is max polar and this is minimum polar. So this is less stable, this is more stable. Hope you understand. See, if you talk about the stability, you usually talk about the bond length and that depends on the size. So CI is CI bond is very unstable because this, the length is more. And if you talk about the polar nature, you talk about the difference in electronegativity. In that case, you see that CF bond is more electronegative because the difference between electronegativity of carbon and fluorine is maximum. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.